Good morning. I'm Sister Peg, in case you can't recognize me behind my mask, trying to be socially distanced and uh, respecting your right to your health and mine. Uh, today, this is Finding the Good on Fridays. So I have a couple of things to show you. I want you to know that they are have been funded by either grants that we received or uh, in one case a, do a huge donation from a volunteer and volunteer work. So I'd like to show you those two projects that we have accomplished or are in the middle of accomplishing. Three projects actually. And uh, let's go see them. Come on. We got a little bit of a, a makeover in our late women's bathroom on the first floor this year. Uh, thanks to a grant, just beautiful. We are so grateful, it looks so fresh. And the women will be so excited when they come back, um, whenever it's gonna be that they come back, we're working on that. All right, so come and see another project. So right here in the hallway, in the community area, we have brand new flooring. And again, this is due to donations and grants, none of which is, has anything to do with COVID. This is a beautiful thing. The floors look wonderful. And the latest project is, and it's in the middle of being done, is our one of our volunteers brought in a friend of hers who's a professional painter, and he is now painting the walls, which used to be a sage gray, uh, green, to a gray and a, a white or white, to go with the floor. And he's uh, obviously doing a very good job. He's got half the room done. We're all excited about that. My name is Judy Tonk, and I help out with the Gateway Program. And I would like to have a wonderful shout out to all our clients in the Gateway Program. There are no cases of COVID-19 with them. Hi, my name is Cassandra Hill, case manager with Sojourner Truth House in Geary, Indiana. One case I'd like to tell you about is a client who was in need of a stove. Due to health reasons, she truly, as we all do, needed to cook healthier meals. She was unable to do that using a hot plate. So, with your generous donations, we were able to purchase her a stove. Since then, she is very thrilled that she is now cooking and preparing for herself healthier meals and less expensive because now she's able to cook herself a hot meal which some of us sometimes take for granted just going to the stove turning it on but she wasn't able to do that but as i said through your gener generous donations we were able to purchase her a stove i know a lot of times people think well i don't have a lot to give i don't have anything to give you'd be surprised what five ten and twenty dollar donations can help along with thank you to our donors. You're the ones that help us keep going every day. And just a reminder, even though we can't gather for our walk this year, we can gather um, on Facebook and the website and in our neighborhoods and in your back bedroom and on the back porch and in your street, wherever to walk for Sojourner Tooth House. There's no excuse and we don't care if it's $2 you can afford or $2,000 you can afford, all right? We need to keep doing what we're doing for our clients. Our drive through pantry is still working. Uh, we're working on uh, a plan to bring our, cl our homeless clients back on site safely. And uh, for all of that, uh, we, we thank you in advance and we thank you already for all that you do for Sojourner Truth House. So now you go home and find out some good on Friday. Thank you.